Dave Stevens glides across the ice, helping his team push for a win. But this isn't your typical hockey game, and Stevens isn't your typical player. He was born without legs. Human beings can do anything they want to do in life if they put your your heart and your mind into it. I'm, I'm living proof of that. Stevens was one of many players with disabilities who competed in the fifth annual Mountain Warrior Sled Hockey Tournament this weekend. Six teams from Canada and the U.S., including Fort Drum, hit the ice for a chance at the winning trophy. But organizers say it's about more than competition. It's about having fun. It's about these guys here um, having a good experience, get good physical exercise, build up uh, team building and have some camaraderie. It's hard. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so it's, it's hard, but it's, uh, it's fun. It really is. Like some other players, Stevens only learned how to play hockey recently, but he says he'll be back. And he wants people to look out on the players and see what can be done despite obstacles. People tell me that I'm an inspiration, but the stories that you see out here and the players that you see, a blind kid and his dad, you know, communicating by headset, uh, scores a goal against us yesterday. I mean, you know, those are the true heroes. Those are the real inspirational stories that uh, make this event so magical. And he says he'll be going home with a great experience. I feel 13. Like, I just, I'm all giddy, you know, like a little kid. I got my two little medals and, you know, I'm going to go home and show my kids and say, hey, Daddy had a pretty cool weekend. Organizers hope to see the event grow every year and see more people come out to support these players. In Canton, Alex Valverde, Time Warner Cable News.